Hi all, uh, this is Ashwin Pendiala. Uh, today we shall see one of the coding problem in um, lead code, which is 1469. Find all the lonely nodes uh, in a tree. So to put it in simple language, uh, we have find out a node which doesn't have any sibling. See, for example, in this uh, three has a sibling two and two has three and four doesn't have any sibling like a common parent. So in this, always do not search for the root node, only check whether other than root node, only check the nodes which are other than root node. Say suppose in this tree, each and every node apart from the root node has a sibling. One has four, five has three, but six doesn't have any sibling because its parent doesn't have any other child. And two doesn't have any. So six and two should be output. So how do you do the, how do you do this? Um, uh, we can do this using um, depth for, for such DFS approach. What we can do is we can uh, uh, we can recursively call each and every node and then find out if, it, if the parent or if the root node has um, any other child or not. Let us see how to code it. So here it is already given a list integer. Let us take some let us take some temporary integer which we can save our output. Let us call it temp. Um, what is this new array list? So just call DFS, take the root node, which is the tree node, which is the given node. And what else you do is you'll pass the temp. That is it. Now we shall see how to how to count it, how to count the nodes which are. Click over DFS. Let us say what is this tree node is root, and uh, list integer is temp. So what do we do in this? So first we need to check whether the root is null or not. That is like a base condition. If um, root equal to null. Or we need to also check whether root dot left is null and root dot right is null. So if either root is null or root dot left or right, if or if both of its um, children are null, like if this is the node, what we do is just return. Second, else, just copy this. Um, if root dot left is not equal to null, let, let us take this scenario. What do we do? It means if root dot left is not equal to null, but right is null, then what do we do? This is a lonely node. Yeah, it doesn't have any siblings, right? So we shall add it to the temp, temp dot add. Playing from low 071 PC zero quay temp dot add it to what do we need to add we need to add root dot left we need to add it root dot left dot val see because val is a value i'll save if it's a reverse now like if root dot left is null if the left is null and the right is right is not null. say suppose six is to the right the left side is null so if right is not equal to null we just add right to that value very simple conditions uh, we just check whether the root is null or if the root is null we will return if the root is not null if the root of the left is not null and the right is null 
we add left value. If the right is null, not null, and the left is null, we add the right value. And we call this recursively until for the for the entire tree. So first we can call left, comma, we'll pass our temporary variable uh, uh, list. Then call for the right. Finally, what we would do is uh, it, it traverses the entire tree and it checks uh, wherever, uh, whichever has, whichever is an empty node, whichever doesn't have any siblings, it adds to our temporary list. What do you do at the end is it is expecting a list. It is expecting to return an, an array list. So what we do is we, re we return the temp here. So I think this should work. Uh, it is a very simple problem. That's it. So I hope you understood. Uh, let me know if there is anything else um, or if the explanation is not clear, anything is uh, missing or if there are any other ways, uh, other ways other than doing depth force search or DFS. I, thank you.